chocolate. Tom Thomas, unwrap it already. In the morning, Nolik. I really want to see the toy that's inside. Be patient, Nolik. That's all. I'm going to bed. Please don't touch it, okay? And you won't open it without me, right? That's a deal. Oh, good night, Nolik. Uh huh. doing in here? Me? Well, I was... Oh, it's a chocolate ball with a toy inside. <gasps> How interesting. Yeah, totally. Let's unwrap it and take a look. We can't. Not until Tom Thomas comes in the morning. But if we're real careful, he won't notice. A chocolate confection. Yeah. A piece of perfection. <gasps> Perhaps oh. I'll give that shining <laughs> bright. Took a look. Tom Thomas won't be happy at all when he finds out you touched his chocolate ball. And you? Like you didn't touch it? I didn't. Oh, then what's that, Nolik? <gasps> chocolate? Absolutely. It's a hundred percent natural milk chocolate. It says so right here. <laughs> the key ingredient in chocolate is cocoa beans. They are roasted, crushed, and ground. After that, the ground beans are pressed to extract the oil from them. If you mix butter, cocoa, and sugar, you'll get dark chocolate. And if you add some milk to it, then you'll get milk chocolate. Then you just warm it up, pour it into molds, and cool it down. You can add raisins or nuts into chocolate. Sometimes chocolate is even made with flavors like flowers or salt. Chocolate wasn't originally for eating. It was used in a drink made by mixing roasted beans with water and then adding hot peppers. Not every adult could drink it, let alone a child. Today, chocolate is a favorite treat the world over, for children and adults alike. How can we put it back together? How about scotch tape? Come on! We'll start by warming up the chocolate so it softens up, and then use that to make a new ball. And then to make it hard again... Yeah, we just cool it off. My chocolate confection has got an imperfection. Half of it's gone into thin air. But this is expected. When chocolate goes unprotected first, you have got it. Then it's not there. Not there. Not there. Tiddish! Done. Let's put in the toy. But we haven't even looked at it yet. Oh, it's so pretty. Tom Thomas is gonna love it. Oh, wait! Oh, what do you think of this idea? I've got a new confection of chocolate perfection. Safe in his rubber shine. But I can't take off the wrapper without Nolik. You really can't do it without him? I can't. I told Nolik I wouldn't. Mmm, your chocolate is gonna be delicious. Go on, you can eat a little. Hmm, if you say so, I'll eat the chocolate. But we won't open the toy without Nolik. Mmm, good chocolate. Come on, don't you want to know what the toy is? We won't tell. All right, just a peek, and we'll close it right up. What is this for? Teesh! Nolik? Really? How did you get in there? Surprise! Hmm. You were in the container, the container was in the chocolate ball, and the yep. ball... That's just impossible. Ah, 
He went and got you two to help. We helped a little. Hang on, Nolik. You promised not to touch the chocolate till morning. And you promised not to open the toy without me, right? Oh, my goodness! <laughs> Oh, wow! What kind of device is that? Maybe an alarm clock? No, this is a time machine! Beep, 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 beep! Time machines, they don't exist. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> what a shame. I learned that, studied that. Well done, Tula. Oh, oh, what did I just bump into? What do you mean, what? Into a time machine. But I thought time machines aren't for real. Of course they are. You get in and take off for the future. Or the past. Splendid. Lots of us would love to be able to travel in a time machine. Maybe to go back in time and fix a bad grade. Or to get a peek into the future. Of course it would be interesting. But time travel isn't possible. And thank goodness. Just imagine how mixed up everything could get. Someone brings back a dinosaur from the past, while someone else brings aliens from the future. No one would need to invent anything. Appliances would sit unused, and fixies would have no work to do. It's awful! So you've got no idea of the answer. I studied this, but I don't remember. Too bad, because tomorrow we've got a hard test. Make sure you're prepared. I'm sure I'm gonna fail. You're gonna pass? You studied all of this, right? So? So you just need to stop worrying so much, that's all. I wish I could. <laughs> Poor girl. How can we help her? Hey, I know how. This morning, Tula believed that that thing over there is a real time machine. Sounds like an anti-scientific plan. Stop worrying. It's simple. We'll send you to tomorrow. You'll sit down, take the test, and come right back here. I wish I could go. It's like a dress rehearsal. The main thing's not to worry. Then what do I do? Uh, you just pull on that wire and you'll get them back. Well, time to go. Wow, it's tomorrow. Hi there. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Grandpa's got sick, so I'll be giving you your tests. I'm scared. Don't worry, it's just a rehearsal. Well then, who had the best test? Congratulations, Tula! Oh, so cool! cool. Awesome. That wasn't scary at all. Impressive. By the way, what's wrong with the professor? Uh, Grandpa's... Uh, you know, don't you? A bolt fell on his head. You dropped it, remember? I did? Yeah, yesterday. I'm not sure I like this future. Well, how did it go there? Later. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. Oh! Leave this on until tomorrow. What is this? Come back! No! If I do, I could hurt you! Me? What for? Wouldn't it be incredible to travel into the future and see what you will become? Unfortunately, that's only possible in our dreams. But if you have a dream and aren't afraid of challenges and setbacks, your future can turn out just the way you imagined. Do you want to become a champion? Then you need to start your training right away! Do you dream of becoming the best programmer in the world? Then first pull up that grade in math class! Do you dream of sailing the oceans? Then you'll need to do a lot of reading because a captain has so much he needs to learn. Start creating your future right now. And we Fixies will be right there to help you, making sure the machines you need to reach your dreams will keep on working for years and years to come. Hey there, are you ready? Uh-huh. So far, everything's exactly the same. Tula, take this, please. It worked. And pass out the tests. You may begin. These questions are different. Who had the best test? Congratulations, Tula! What am I worried about? I know everything is going to be fine. Tish! Oh, uh, well then. 
All of your test results are great. <sighs> Only none of you could guess what this device is. What do you mean? Isn't it a time machine? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's for automatically watering plants, that's all. You see? Cool, right? Wow, it's fantastic. So hang on, you guys tricked me? But you passed the test, right? Well, all right. Then I forgive you. <laughs> The toothpaste. Astronaut food. Ready. Rocket ready. And who's flying to the sun? Me. I'm ready. Ooh. Real hero. Tom Thomas. Did you see? There it is. You nearly spoiled a vital experiment. Of global, interplanetary significance. Spoiled what? Our scientific testing of the latest toothpaste formula. I will brush my teeth with it. And I, as chief dentist, will be monitoring the testing. And so, I don't want you even touching it. Great. How am I supposed to fly to the sun now? Strange. They make that toothpaste for kids. So? Then why is your mom using your dad then? That's right. I'm gonna go tell her. Mom! The new toothpaste. I should test it. No, I'm using your dad, because he's a responsible person. And so am I. I'm very responsible. Who knew? Your room's a total mess. I had no time to clean it. You didn't water the plant. I forgot. Did you brush your teeth? Yeah, for a whole minute, too. You're supposed to brush your teeth for two minutes, in the morning and at night. Sorry. Great toothpaste, honey. If you don't want to get a toothache, you need to take good care of your teeth by brushing them with a toothbrush and toothpaste. Toothpaste helps remove food that's stuck on your teeth, kills harmful bacteria, and keeps your teeth strong, healthy, and beautiful. Toothpaste should be in every house. Adults should use toothpaste made for adults, and kids should use toothpaste that is healthy and safe for younger teeth. It's important to make sure you're using a toothpaste that's right for your age. Tom Thomas, don't touch it! It's for the experiment! I'm just gonna smell it. Don't worry. Well... It smells like bubble gum. Hey! Just a peek at the collar, that's all. Come on, do you want to spoil the experiment? Now put that toothpaste right back. Hmm. Again? <laughs> well now, so we caught you again. I want to try this toothpaste so bad, but how? Well, what if you want? <laughs> Do you know how to brush your teeth correctly? Let's check. First, take your toothbrush and rinse it with water. Then squeeze on a bit of toothpaste. A small pea-sized drop is all that you'll need. Now one, brush the outside of your front teeth up and down. Two, brush the backs of those teeth from the gums on down. Three, open your mouth real wide and brush the teeth in the back. These are the teeth that you use for chewing. Go back and forth, over and over. You should brush a full two minutes, no less. Now it's time to rinse out the toothpaste from your mouth and clean the brush. That's right, the brush needs to be cleaned too. And please, don't be lazy. If you brush your teeth two times a day, they'll stay in great shape for many years to come. Mom, Dad, see? I've done everything. Well done. And I promise that I'm gonna brush my teeth the right way. 
as long as I need to, and... And twice a day? Only let me be a part of your awesome experiment, please, would ya? Well, I don't know. I think we could try it. Oh. What? Well, we also have this foam for teeth. Who's gonna test that? Me! A real hero. How many ways did we try to get him to brush his teeth before that didn't work? We never sparked his imagination before. Your idea about the experiment was brilliant. Simka, do you think we should tell him? The answer is no. We can't disrupt the experiment. <laughs> Money. Hello? Uh-huh. Can you help me, please? Sorry, Verda. I need to go to, uh, the warehouse right away. But I helped you yesterday, didn't I? Well, I helped you the day before that. Yeah, well, what about last week? I helped you three times, remember? Well, I, uh... You helped one another when it was time to. I don't see why you have to count. Of course not, Tula. You ask for the most help from all of us. I do not, Verda. Look how Elisa helps Professor Eugenius. And she doesn't argue with him. Of course not. She's in love with the professor. Actually, it's her job. And for helping the professor, she gets money. Hmm, money. That's a smart idea. <laughs> money constantly moves from one hand to another. A person does his job at work, and in exchange, he gets money for it. He can use the money to buy things he wants, like clothing or food. Or he can pay somebody else for their work, like getting a ride from a taxi driver, a haircut from a hairdresser, or a computer repaired by a technician. All people take part in this circulation of money. But unlike people, fixies don't use any money. We do just fine without it. <laughs> Do it like people do it. If you work for somebody, they give you money for it. And if you need some help, then you pay. And that'll stop the arguing. And all the false accusations. And those are for Simka and Dolan. Now it's all fair. supposed to do with it? You don't know? You pay for someone to help you. I don't like this new idea at all. At all. Made out of cotton and linen. 
It's stronger than normal paper made out of wood, which means it doesn't rip as easily, even if you fold it thousands of times. The ink used for printing money is special, too. It won't rub off the paper or fade in the sun. And that's not all. The ink has secret additives that can only be seen if you look at the money under a special light. This helps protect people from fake money. It is for the same reason that watermarks, metal strings, and teeny tiny writing is also used on money. This writing's very hard to read, unless you happen to be a fixie. I hope I didn't say more than I should have. Well, all done. It's time for a test. But what are we going to print? A word with real value. Yeah, something really precious. No, it's not money. Right, it's so much better. Friendship! Tish! Plastic. Chuggy, go! Chuggy, go, Keep Tom going. Thomas! Faster! You can do it! Faster! Tom. Come on, just chug! Oh, chug! Chug, chug! You're up! was one fast time. If you could just keep up your training, you could beat the record. <sighs> yes. Yes, you're right. Time to take matters into our own hands. Please hold on. Tom Thomas, did you take out the trash? Uh, I didn't have time yet. Good. That's just what I wanted to hear. Uh, and that bottle on your desk, do you need it? That's great. Thanks. I've got five more of them. And this is only the beginning of our mission. Operation Rescue. What is your dad up to? Operation Rescue. Could be... Your dad might be a superhero. Do you think? <laughs> no, like, you're too funny for words. What's so funny about that? Who else would be taking part in rescue operations? <laughs> and those bottles, you think he needs them for heroic deeds? Or maybe he decided that it's time to sort your plastic waste. Do, Do what? what? <laughs> plastic is a durable and practical man-made material. Lots of useful things are made out of it. Packaging, toys, appliances, and even furniture. But you shouldn't just throw out things that are made of plastic. Nature can't digest it, and so all that plastic will leave the Earth covered with a thick layer of trash. To avoid that catastrophe, we all can help. Put plastic into specially marked containers, and then, instead of harming the planet, it can be turned into something useful. No, that doesn't make any sense. Simka, superheroes do not collect trash. And we'll prove it, you'll see. Of course. It's our evolution. I mean, a revolution. Together, we'll save planet Earth. You're so lucky, Tom Thomas. Together, we'll save planet Earth. Tom Thomas, do you have any more plastic in your room here that I can take? One second. You still use those things. For such a noble mission, it's not a problem. All our useful things should be taken care of. Dad, I really want to do it with you. Want to do what? What you're doing. You know, the operation about saving the planet, like you said on the phone. Ah, you mean sorting out the plastic, don't you? Sure. I've got a couple of these boxes filled up already. Will you help me take them to get recycled? Really? What for? Just dump it out with the trash. Son, if we don't start doing what we can to recycle, I'm afraid our planet <sighs> will become one big dump. There's lots of stuff that humans just throw out that can be transformed into something totally different. 
For instance, an ordinary plastic bottle can be turned into a ballpoint pen, or a watch, or a chair, or dishes, or even some clothing. For example, there are some factories where old plastic is sorted, ground into pieces and cleaned, and then stretched into thread that can be used to make brand new clothing. Isn't that fantastic? But this is only possible if people learn to collect and dispose of unneeded bottles, bags, cups, and other plastic separately from the rest of their trash. Imagine how happy nature will be when the piles and piles of plastic disappear from our woods and from our seas. Let's take care of our planet together. I thought you were trying to rescue the planet, like a superhero. Actually, we are superheroes, and we're also a bit like magicians. Really? Give me a second. See this shirt here? It's made out of recycled plastic like that. Cool, right? No joke! So, you ready? Then it's time to go. Uh, those lucky humans, with their trash to sort, and we? We Fixies do all that we can to make appliances live longer. That way they don't get thrown away. And we should sort our trash as well. That's a good idea. The window. Ugh. Oh, hi there. We're all up. Ugh. Oh, what are you doing? I'm washing our windows. Uh, it looks like that thing's doing the washing. You guessed it. It's a window washing robot. I borrowed it from a neighbor to try it out. We should buy one for ourselves. I don't get it. We've already got one robot. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, robot. So we'll have two. One for the floors and one for windows. I could clean the windows. But it can be dangerous work. <laughs> What's so dangerous about it? I'll just go and wash them right now. And instead of a robot, we'll buy something uh, useful. Like a skateboard for a boy. I've already got one. So you'll have two. Class. Uh-huh. If you say so. There just so happens to be a dirty window in your office. Let's see how you do with that one. Consider it done. Mm-hmm. And we'll clean the tiles with the robot. A window is much more than just a hole in the wall. Windows provide houses with light, ventilation, and views to the world outside. Modern windows are made with several layers of glass. Between each layer is a space that's filled with air. The air works as insulation to keep heat from escaping outside. Do you know how to tell how many layers of glass your window has? Just shine a flashlight at it. The number of reflections tells you the number of layers. Whoa, what an amazing appliance. Let's go and take a closer look. You really buy me a new skateboard, Dad? That's what I said, but first, I've got a window to wipe. All right, robot, we'll show you. Tom Thomas, Dad can show him himself. <laughs> we really live on a super high floor. Yeah, but the robot isn't afraid of heights. <sighs> I'll start from this corner. It'll take you forever that way. Admit it, the robot works better. We won't. We're going to win this thing. What is he doing? I'm not sure. <sighs> huh? Mom! Mom! The robot made such a mess in there! It's impossible. Look! <laughs> Good joke. Just wait. Get how you're cleaning it. Easy. You can talk? You've got to be kidding. And you are misbehaving. You guys? 
You're the ones trying to stop me? You tried to make the robot look bad, so we had to defend it. It's only because my dad told me I'd get a skateboard. Yeah? For doing a bad thing? Ugh, aren't you ashamed of yourself? I am. You learned your lesson, and don't forget, Fixies look out for appliances. The dwellings of most ancient people had basically no windows at all. There may have been a hole up above for letting out smoke from a fire, but that was it. Later, people started splitting open their walls, but the openings were so small that very little light would ever get inside. Mm. The size of windows grew quite a bit over time. People would cover them with animal skins, fabric, paper, or wooden planks to protect themselves from the cold and the wind. When people learned how to mine valuable minerals, they began to cover window openings with thin sheets of a mineral called mica. Windows made of glass were very expensive, and only the richest people could afford them for their homes. But today, it's hard to imagine a window anywhere not covered in glass. <sighs> Everything's washed. And what about the outside? Forget it. I... I quit. Would you wash the back with the robot? Yeah, consider it done. Yeah, you're right. I see. It really is a great appliance. And that washer's defender is even better. You're right about that. Tish! Fasteners. And of course, all of the appliance's parts must be fastened good and tight. What are you doing, colleague? Today, Lisa is returning from her vacation. And so, I decided before she gets back, I'll clean up the laboratory. Quite a noble initiative. Now, where was I? You were saying all parts have to be fastened. <laughs> You're right. And what kinds of fasteners can you name? Fire? Uh, a screw? Mm-hmm. And what else? Uh, another screw? <laughs> that would make a total of two screws altogether. Simka? To fasten wood or plastic parts together, you can use nails. Nails are hammered in with a hammer. In metal or stone, you need to first drill holes for the screws. To help a screw hold better, it can be inserted into a special fastener called an anchor or wall plug. The difference between a machine screw and a wood screw is that wood screws have pointy ends. Machine screws go into holes that already have a thread or into a nut. And what if there aren't any screws or nails around? Well, then a fixie can turn himself into a screw and screw himself in. Like this. Masterfully done. Fire. Think you can do it? Of course. Yeah! Nolik? Is it okay if I won't go? What do you mean you won't go? <sighs> Wait, I started on the wrong foot. Uh, no. I, I guess it was the right one. Don't be scared. You've done this a thousand times. Uh-huh. You're right. You had to make sure the appliance was turned off first. <sighs> yeah, I should have. This time it's not going to happen to you. It's all under control. Go on. <sighs> I'm still scared to do it. How about you try again? And who came up with this dumb screw idea? According to legend, the screw was invented in ancient times by the great Archimedes. Using his screw-tight mechanism, Archimedes built a special machine for getting water out of a canal. In ancient Rome, people used wooden screws and presses to squeeze the olive oil out of olives. Screws were also used as parts of drills or as lifting jacks. But the use of screws as fasteners did not begin until the 15th century. Soon thereafter, screws became so popular that today it's almost impossible to find an appliance made without one. And if one of these little screws should fall out, we fixies will come to the rescue. Because we don't just turn into screws when we need to hide from humans. We're always ready to do it when help is needed. No, like, let's try 
dive together. Don't be scared. We're here with you. Ready? And... <gasps> uh. Nolik, watch me, son. I haven't screwed myself in in over a hundred years, but I'm not scared. Did you see that? It's a piece of cake. Grandpa's? I'm stuck. It's all my fault. There's no need to worry. Professor Eugenius, can you help us unscrew Grandpa's? I'll be right with you. It got a bit rusty. It's probably old age. I know what will help. A drop of oil. Ow! Professor Eugenius, are you okay? I'm okay. Thank you for asking. Look out! It's going to fall! We need to fasten the shelf to the wall! No, like, help! We can't do this without you! Simka, I'm scared too. Nolik, save me! Uh, uh. <sighs> What's going on out there? No big deal, colleague. I just got a little bit buried. <clears throat> Will anyone unscrew me? I wish I could. And we're holding up the shelves. And Nolik? Me too! I did it! I screwed myself in! Well done, Nolik! I knew you could! And who's gonna help us now? Elisa will get here shortly. All right. We'll wait for Elisa. Yeah, just as long as her return flight isn't delayed. <sighs> <sighs> the frying pan. This? Easy! How about this? And voila! I could be on skates and still do it. If I was on skates, I could jump ten times in a row. Well, I could do a hundred with my eyes shut. Then let's see them. There's no skating rink. There will be. What will, will there be? A skating rink. Where? In the frying pan. Alright, my bragging buddies, go get your skates! Fixies love playing sports. You might find Fixie adults working out with weights, or maybe working on a gymnastics routine. Fixie kids love having Fixie board contests, or taking part in parkour competitions, where they have to run, jump, and hop over all sorts of obstacles. These kinds of competitions usually take place inside of sophisticated appliances. Orienteering is held inside these appliances, too. That's when Fixies use a map to follow a complicated route. And the route is quite exact. You can't make one wrong turn. But the Fixies' favorite game has got to be hide-and-seek. Nobody can compete with them in this game. You don't believe me? <laughs> Watch! The rink is frozen. <laughs> so, who's first? Nola, come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you going to jump? <laughs> wow, class. <laughs> and that's all? Not at all. No lick, no lick, no lick, no He's not lick. not gonna make it. Too short to start. Ah! <laughs> I can't do anymore because I'm injured. Sure, say no more, Mr. Braggart. Then it's your turn, Simka. Now watch and see how it's done. La 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 la. Oh wow, Nolik, you never had a chance. Like always. She gets in my way, and now she's gonna win. Nolik, do you really want to beat her? Uh-huh. You see the salt? What? You think we should cook her? Of course not. But if we put some salt on the ice, it'll melt. Simka, didn't you say that you were 
gonna skate with your eyes closed? Piece of cake. What? Can't do it? Watch and learn. One. And two. Well done. wasn't fair, guys. You wouldn't have done a hundred jumps anyway. Let's start the contest all over again, but this time we play by the rules. Oh, look, there's a scratch in the pan. What? What a disaster. You can cook just about anything in a frying pan. Meat, fish, vegetables. In order to stop food from sticking to the pan, modern frying pans are covered with a non-stick coating like Teflon. You can cook in these pans without even using oil. And they're easy to clean. But you have to treat this kind of kitchenware very carefully. It's better not to use metal spatulas or forks that can scratch it. Because you shouldn't cook food in a pan that has scratches on it. It can be really dangerous for your health. Yeah, this pan's completely shot. It's all because of your dumb bet. It's all because someone was cheating. Mom's back. Please, Simka, help me out, will you? I'll give you any wish you want. Or three. No, five. Five? <laughs> I can help you. If you guys jump up and down a hundred times on one leg, we could do two hundred. Tom Thomas, what do you say we make those crepes? These crepes are perfect. I just love cooking with this pan. Why are you jumping? I want to make my legs stronger. <laughs> anyway, you never could have jumped a hundred times in there. Bet on it? Uh-oh. Oh! <laughs> the bird feeder. Sad. Just wait till he sees what I'm gonna do. I guess he doesn't think you're funny. That's because he's cold out there. He wants to eat, that's all. Maybe we should make a feeder for the poor bird. Do you know how to make a bird feeder? No, but we both know someone who knows everything. It's not easy for birds to find food under the snow. Luckily, many people come to the rescue. They build little houses for the birds, designed to hold food. The name for these houses are naturally bird feeders. Bird feeders can be made out of wood, plastic, or even something as simple as a milk or juice carton. Building a bird feeder by hand isn't hard to do at all. But building it is only one part of the work. What's most important is remembering to keep it filled with food. Well, shall we start? The bird feeder is ready! And what are we gonna put in it? I got an idea. Adisa, I need some of your food for a little bird. You aren't greedy. Greedy! 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 I didn't know Adisa is greedy. Adisa's greedy. You need to learn how to share. Adisa's greedy. What, like there's not enough food? Not enough food. Not enough food. Not enough food. Not enough. Wow. Now there's two of them out there. Eat. There's enough food for everybody. Poor Adisa. Poor Adisa. Let's bring him in here. We can open a 
restaurant for birds. Poor little bird. Why did you scare the little birds away? That feeder's from them. Get it? Just fly away. Shoot! He's bullying our friends. Hey, you leave! Leave! You'll never chase him away now. We'll see about that. Aha! Serves you right, Pigeon. It's not nice to bully little guys. Yeah, and how about big guys? It's all right to bully them. The poor Pigeon also wants some food. Food! Food! You sure? Sure! Winter can be beautiful, but also very cold. Animals have different ways to prepare for when the weather gets cold. Some birds gather into flocks and migrate to where it's warmer. You could almost say they're flying to a resort. Squirrels, hamsters, and chipmunks collect and store nuts, mushrooms, and pine cones. There are many people who don't have pantries that are as well stocked. Badgers and bears eat a lot of extra food in the fall and then go to sleep in their dens and burrows for the whole winter. Fish also sleep in the winter, only they're at the bottom of rivers and lakes. Frogs, snakes, and even wasps burrow in the ground, while hares, foxes, and wolves grow thick coats that protect them from the freezing cold. Although it isn't easy for them to find food. So that will be your feeder, and that new one will be for the little birds. Hey, are you taking their food again? There you go. Huh. But those little birds, they'll probably never come back here. Look, Nolik! <gasps> they came back! Ah, uh, they're full and happy. <clears throat> it's so nice. Tadish! Tadish! The helicopter. It's very important, and I need your advice. Hey, uh, sorry I'm late. Oh, girls, I can hardly wait to see this. Here it goes. Hey there. Where did you get a helicopter? Professor Eugenie threw it away, but we, we fixed it. Come fly with us. Hop in. There's no way. We're busy. Doing what? Go find somewhere else to fly. You got it. No problem. Now back to our job. fly with the help of propellers. The biggest one is called the main rotor blade. When the engine turns it, the rotor pushes the air with such a powerful force that it lifts the helicopter up off the ground. Of course, helicopters can't fly as fast as airplanes, but they have the ability to easily land on a small patch of ground. And unlike airplanes, helicopters can hover in the air for a long time and even fly backwards. Digit, turn us to the left. Huh? Uh. <laughs> now, turn right and higher. Huh? Digit, uh. Fire and Nolik are being dopey, but you're smart enough to know it's dangerous. Just land it. Hang on, hang on. This is one amazing rotor-driven machine. Leonardo da Vinci himself had a design for one, and now look who's controlling it. It really is impressive. You're a total ace on that controller. And so smart. And brave. <laughs> the girls really like boys like that. That's how I roll. Sure, yeah, you're great. Now land it. Digit! <laughs> oh! Ah! The wall! Ah! Ah! Nolik, don't panic. We're gonna have to 
our pilot, everything would have been okay. A real pilot, you know, shouldn't get distracted. And first he has to learn how to fly on a simulator. Right, Digit? Uh-huh. That's true, but we don't have one. Don't go anywhere. Airplanes, helicopters, trains, and even cars are complicated machines that can be a challenge to navigate. And if you don't watch what you're doing, you can easily end up having an accident. That's why future pilots, train operators, and drivers all take comprehensive training classes that include learning how to fly a plane or drive a train using simulators. This, for instance, is an exact copy of a cockpit, only without wings and with screens for windows. You pull the controller and the cabin moves the way it would if you were actually taking off. And on the screens, the Earth is racing under the clouds. It takes your breath away. Commercial pilots are required to take part in many simulations like this before they're allowed to pilot a real airplane. Our pilot simulator is ready to go. Oh, wow. And I'll be the first one to try it. Here we go. Ugh, kids. Right, Digit? <coughs> I'm only going over there just to take a look. Uh, you know how those two can behave. I'll just it's watch them. It's my turn again. Hey, wait. It's my turn now. Boys are just silly. They're never serious. They just joke around. Speaking of serious, we have some important business to take care of. <gasps> You're right. I can't figure out where I should put them. What about on the pack -a mat Oh, that's a very serious problem. Yeah, this is really important, not something silly like those boys are doing. The dishwasher. Enjoying yourself without a care in the world. What? We have more care to both of you together. Yeah, anyone can see that. Wanna bet me? How about we try doing your job and you try doing ours? And whoever loses has got to grant the other's wish. We have a dishwasher here in the kitchen that isn't working, and you're distracting us with your nonsense. Wait a sec. Let's do it. Find the broken part. Good as done. Find it where? <laughs> you're the adults now. Go and find it. Just look out for yourselves. And you kids, time for school. And I better not hear that you were misbehaving. Was I there when they taught us about dishwashers at school? <laughs> the main element of a dishwashing machine is this part called the sprayer, which looks like a propeller. After the dishwasher's pump delivers water, it is warmed, mixed with detergent, and then pushed up with high pressure. That makes the propeller spin very quickly, so it can shoot out the water with a force strong enough to wash all of the dirt off the plates and glasses. But it does it carefully, so that dishes not only come out sparkling, but unbroken as well. Is this a parent-teacher conference? It's not. It's an experiment. For today, I'm Simka. <laughs> and I'm Nolik. All right. Who's ready to tell the rest of the class what we studied yesterday? Simka. Yesterday? Oh. You forgot. Be seated. That's an F. Mm-hmm. I think the problem is in the control panel. I wonder if the dishwasher ran out of water. Ah. Uh. Papus, don't argue with your wife. Hey. This one is working. And so is this. <sighs> you know what? 
Why don't we just wash those dishes? But that would be cheating. No one will find out. The dishes will all be nice and clean, and bam, we're the winners. Check it out, we are all done. How come the indicators aren't lit? Fixies have to fix things. And what do you call this? And you, did you both go to school today? Of course we did. I, I mean Simka, got an F for her answer. Well, thanks, Masia. And did you play with Tom Thomas? You know that we don't show ourselves to people. Tom Thomas isn't any human. He's our friend. Either you play with him, or you both lose, just like we did. No way. We'll play another round. The earliest kitchenware appeared about 7,000 years ago. Early people made these containers from stone or wood. Another kind of container for holding food was woven baskets. The baskets would be lined with clay for durability. Once, one of these baskets fell into a bonfire, and lo and behold, the wood on the outside burned away, while the clay was now hard as a rock. That discovery led to the invention of clay pottery that is still in use to this very day. Later on came the development of glass, metal, and cast iron cookware. The world's richest people can even have food served to them on dishes of silver or gold. Today, kitchenware is not only a practical convenience, but it can decorate any home as well. Forget it. This is impossible. Let's just tell them we give up. Zinka, how come this button is crooked and not sticking out? Because the button got jammed! Yeah! No way! You figured out what was wrong! <laughs> Dragging this around. Diddy! One. Papus, two, we fixed everything! Three, really? Does this mean you're playing with him? Four, what? You think we're some quitters? Ha! Five. Then which one of us is the Ready winner? Or not, here I come! Let's call it a draw. Each team gets one wish. Our team mm. wants you to fix my app. And you finish this game with him. Piece, Piece of, of cake! cake. The coffee maker. Tadish! Hi there, Tom Thomas. Are you ready for school? Uh-huh. And you? I'm helping Masia today for school. Three more patients? How in the world can I do it all? I have that new equipment being delivered, and I'm leading this week's case presentations. Oh, well. Somehow I'll have to figure out how to do it. Um... Good morning. Yeah, just great, huh? I got work piled up to the ceiling. Okay, a cup of coffee is the only thing that can save me today. Now what? The last thing I need is to be late. The coffee maker started its cleaning cycle. She'll have to wait. <clears throat> What's the problem? Why don't you work? Are you going to work or what? <clears throat> Oh, the poor coffee maker! Oh, Tom Thomas's poor mother! That's enough! Work already! What is going on today? <laughs> hey, Mom, come on! Let me give it a try. I can't take any more of this. We've got to help her! I really hope nothing broke in there. Don't worry, we'll get it working. Just distract your mom. Mom, and what if the coffee maker just started working again right now? Would that save your day, you think? Mm-hmm. Early coffee makers would do nothing more than heat up the water and force it through the ground coffee. Today's generation of devices are often called coffee machines. They can do so much more and even remove the mineral deposits themselves. These machines can make your coffee any strength and add milk and sugar, if that's how you like it. And most conveniently, they can grind the coffee beans right before brewing. Just press the button and the fresh cup of coffee is ready. And that aroma. The main thing with any coffee maker is to be nice to it. Then you just give it some time and it starts working by itself. That is just absurd. 
Restarting it is the first step. Simka, get over there and open and close that contact. Mm -hmm. You see? That's what I was talking about. A coffee maker isn't alive. It's a machine, that's all. Then how come you hit it like you did? Hmm. But if you're really nice to it and you pet it... Then she'll purr. Hear that? It liked that a lot. Coffee maker, blink to us when you're ready to start working. Turn on the display. Mm -hmm. See that? It answered us. <gasps> it behaves like it's really alive. Well, coffee maker, make coffee. It's impossible. Kitty, time for a little surprise. Just don't give up our secret. You fixed it somehow. What's your secret? It's simple. If you handle appliances with care, then they'll take care of you. <sighs> the magic taste of coffee was first appreciated in Arabia. And that's why the most well-known variety of coffee is called Arabica. Coffee trees grow throughout the world in mountain regions where the weather is warm and humid. The branches of coffee trees get covered with coffee berries. But to make the coffee drink, we don't need the berries, just the seeds inside. After the coffee beans are roasted and then ground, hot water is added. Different cultures serve coffee differently. Some serve it hot, some cold. With sugar, with milk, with ice cream, with cinnamon, with ginger, and even with salt and pepper. They say that coffee gives people energy and helps them from feeling tired. But it's important not to drink too much. Ah. Tom Thomas, you're a powerful wizard. <laughs> she believes it. <laughs> it's remarkable. I can't believe an ordinary coffee maker can be so emotional. <laughs> Poor thing. Forgive me, huh? And that's not all. If you take care of your coffee maker and you're nice to it, it can even... it can even... sing a song. Oh, my dear Augustine, Augustine, Augustine... <laughs> I've got to be hearing things. <laughs> You've got me under your spell, Tom Thomas. Time to go, <laughs> Augustine. Huh. Oh, my dear Augustine, Augustine. Why did you start singing? Sorry, I got carried away. <laughs> and I got carried away. Sing me that song again, will you? Oh, my dear Augustine, Augustine, Augustine. Oh, my dear Augustine, everything's gone. <laughs> <laughs>